All right, Shalom, Mukim. Before I get started with the lesson, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashmi Yahushai, Wa Hamarkakudash, and of course, as always, double honors to our apostles and our elders. They were well a great millstone, and salutations to all you sincere Akim that are preaching this word in all truth and in sincerity. It's going to be just a real quick lesson. All right, based upon prophecy and based upon how we're at the end of this bitch, all right? We are literally at the end. This is 2nd Edges, chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. Okay, measure thou the time diligently in itself and you do that by being occupied in prophecy in these scriptures man that's how you measure the times okay you read the scriptures the holy spirit comes upon you okay because you're being diligent and then you can see all right everything adding up okay all these prophecies come into pass. All right, and the two last major prophecies that are bound to happen real soon is the Karagma, which is the mark of the beast. All right, which is a microchip. And these nukes being shot. All right, World War Three. Okay, so measure the times, man. Be diligent. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And when you read Isaiah 29 and 6, which, let's just get it for true sake. It reads, Thou shalt be visited of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai of hosts. Every time you see the word Lord, all capital, all capital letters, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, whose true name is Yahweh, which means the existing one, or he exists. And we say his name through the Son, his only begotten Son, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his real name because he was Hebrew, or he is a Hebrew, is Yahweh Shai, which is Hebrew for he delivers, or, or he saves. So we say, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, of hosts. And he visits, as we go on to read, with thunder and with earthquake and great noise with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire so the Lord visits through his judgments and this just took place all right I'm gonna scroll down a brother did a video on it right here 7.8 magnitude earthquake hits Turkey and Syria over 3,700 lost. That's major. Okay. And these are signs. This is a sign of the end. Alright. Look at that. That is major death. <laughs> Major judgment. 
fine. The Lord is visiting, man. And you want to be on his good side. Okay. So let's jump back to Second Ezra. Chapter 9. And three, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. The end is manifesting, meaning it's appearing, all right? It's coming to pass, okay? Whether you believe it or not, we are at the end, all right? So this is Luke 21 and 35. For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. So the Lord returning, okay, the end is going to come as a snare, a trap, like a booby trap. Okay, the Lord said he's going to come as a thief in the night. All right, so it's going to come upon all them that dwell on the earth, meaning all those that are not making it right with the Lord, okay? All those that are not taking heed to prophecy, to the prophets, to the word that's going out. And, you know, we've been out here for years, man. The apostles been out here for 40 years plus. 30 years plus, me and the brothers, you know, in the camp I'm in, we've been out here going on nine or 10 years, all right? So we've been out here for a while, and a lot of you people have seen us, okay? A lot of you people have seen other brothers. So by you not taking heed to this, not believing in this, thinking it's a joke, well, it's going to come upon you as a trap. Surprise. Okay. It's going to come upon you as a trap. And you're not going to have no covering for your sin because you didn't believe in the only begotten son of Yahweh whose true name is Yahweh Shai, who shed his blood for the remission of sins of you Israelites. All right, and only the Israelites. This is verse 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always. Watch ye therefore. Pay attention to what's going on. Read. Okay. Take heed to what's being said in the Spirit. And pray always. You know, that doesn't mean you have to be a bug out and be praying, you know, in front of the world every second of the day. But just don't forget about the Lord. Make time. Okay, remember to pray. Okay, and we forget sometimes, nothing wrong with that, but when you remember, remember, okay, do it, all right, as the scriptures say, be ye doers of the word, it's time to do it, okay, and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. 
you see those those Aramites and those Edomites and Ishmaelites. Okay, they don't have the Lord. Okay. And Jakes that were scattered amongst them, if there be any, didn't have the word, didn't have the Lord, weren't praying unto the Lord. They were accounted unworthy and died in that judgment. Okay. It says, and also, and to stand before the Son of Man. And to stand before Yahweh Shai. Because remember, Yahweh Shai is coming back to judge the world. All right. Matthew 10 and 34. Think not that he's coming to send peace. Okay. As the scripture says, he's coming to conquer. All right. And to save his elect. And also to destroy two thirds. So hopefully this message was exhorting. All right. And also admonishing. Okay. Because hey, we persuade men to the fear of the Lord. Through fear, we persuade men. Because through fear, we were persuaded. With that, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Wahar Kakodash. And of course, as always, double honors to our apostles and our elders that were well at Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect.